A man who says he was abused by the late MP for Rochdale, Cyril Smith, came forward to tell his story this week. Here's a selection of your emails about it. What a brave man to be interviewed and to speak as he did, and how well he seems to have put it behind him and got on with his life. As a parent in the same position as his mother, I know that, rationally, it wasn't my fault. But like her, the feeling of guilt will only die when I do. I wish him well. I had to stop and park to listen. My husband of 31 years was abused by his father and then by several prep school teachers. He has suffered serious chronic depression and is now a recovering alcoholic. And it wasn't until our third son was born 23 years ago that I learnt of the abuse. My husband will not go public and that's his choice. However, I think the interviewee has helped others enormously. I was moved to tears by the interview with the man who recollected being abused by Cyril Smith. I admired his determination to create a positive life for his own children and himself and his wife. I don't think people realise how difficult it is to disclose abuse by someone in a position of trust. The interview ran so true with me. The way he described his recall of events, the impact the abuse had on him as a child and as an adult, the difference was in how his mother reacted. Mine was doubting, totally not believing and completely of the view that I had asked for it. To acknowledge the abuse performed on me would require her to accept the grooming and subsequent abuse my father performed on my best friend, on a friend's daughter and others. It was too much to ask of her. She shared this with my siblings and so I'm alienated from them all. He was a brave man and I applaud him for his honesty.